So if there's an award for physique of the night, Francis Denny would definitely be up there for it. Looks in phenomenal shape. Obviously fighting out of Bushi in MMA. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was taken back in uh, the way into this fight because both him and Joel look in very good shape. This is an 80 kilo catch weight from the fight in the B class division. B class again obviously means um, no ground and mount. So no strikes to the head on the ground in this fight. Just over my shoulders, uh, it looks like Francis got quite a lot of fans in the VIP lounge. And again, as I said, in, in great shape here. Loves that anaconda joke. Not just that though, he does, he's very, very good at pulling off the North South joke as well. Joel is a very scary uh, force if he's on top of you looking for submissions. So I've got one VIP table off to my right that's all for Francis and one right behind me that's all for Joel. Like I say, this is going to be one loud fight. This could be fight of the night as well. This is definitely potentially a contender for that. Currently messing about with a seat because my headphones are caught under one of the legs. Currently cuddling one of the judges while I'm trying to free it. And here we go. Joel needs to keep his hands up. Francis looks like he could have a lot of power. Joel potentially weaknesses of ground game, but nice takedown there from Francis. Joel looking to recover, try and turn into him and end up on top. Francis secures the takedown and ends up on top. Joel looking, what he's doing with his legs there is looking for a 10th planet move, which is called lockdown. You can get guys to tap just from that, because it just feels horrible. Francis, he's, he's stuck here. Francis needs to free up that left leg so he can try and advance his position, because I can guarantee you this lockdown hurts. Joel looking for the underhook of the leg, looking to sweep. Looks like France is looking to isolate an arm and go for a Kimura. Joel defends that really well. What Joel needs to do is look to sweep because Francis looks like he's looking to either isolate that arm or pin it against Joel's head and look for an arm triangle. France is definitely trying to isolate that right arm of Joel's. Joel just needs to stay relaxed and composed. Joel looking to sweep again. France is doing very well using his size advantage. 
Joel's still got that underhook behind France's right leg, looking for a sweep at any opportunity that he gets, and he lets go of it. Francis looks like he's looking to either secure Mount or if Joel's turns the wrong way he'll secure he'll take his back gone straight back to Mount the order's being shouted at bridge and roll brilliantly done by Joel reverses and ends up on top and now Francis looks to reverse and take Joel's back this is an awesome display of a ground fight both guys looking to secure this dominant top position. Joel looking to pass his guard. Joel just needs to step his leg out. He will be looking for this anaconda, like I said earlier. Just need, both guys just need to stay composed and relaxed. Joel takes mount. Obviously, there's no head strikes in this fight because it's a B-class fight. No head strikes on the ground, should I say. Joel looking for something to happen. Francis can't just lie there. Francis needs, like the orders that were shouted to Joel, needs to bridge and roll to escape. Francis looks tired. Joel looks quite fresh. Nick Roe Germans, um, Joel's corner man, giving advice on how to escape uh, once he's got that lockdown in place. Like I said, Joel looks like he does have a weakness on his feet. It's still a part of his game he really needs to develop. But as I said, if he ends up on top, that anaconda joke, Joel will go searching for it. But Francis Denny looking tired. Joel with a leg kick attempt. He just needs to look to close the distance with his hands. Great shots landing from Francis. Joel needs to close the distance. Awesome, awesome trip there from Francis. Awesome takedown trip. Joel needs to regain his composure and look to turn into him. Oh! Joel looking for a judo arm lock here. But what Joel needs to do, turn into him like he's trying to do, look to get into side control. Managed to pass and unfortunately ends up in France's guard. Again, no head strikes on the ground in this fight. Referee looking at where France's fingers are going. They're very close to poking Joel in the eye. Joel looking to isolate an arm now. Francis just using his, his added power. Oh, nice knee there from Joel. He's dropped him. Awesome knee to the body. He's dropped Francis. I'm not sure if that's out of tiredness or if that really hurt. Guillotine on here for Joel. Gives up on it does well Joel looking to isolate an arm oh and here we go like I said looking for this anaconda choke that is a specialty of Joel Hayfunds not quite on now Joel just needs to look to pass this guard end up in side control or in mount it looks like he's trying to mount and, oh not quite. Francis as well stands up. Nice knee again there from Joel. Joel Pepper in with a couple of knees. Nice knee again. Nice head strikes. Joel just needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught. Francis looks absolutely shattered here, but Francis has definitely got a puncher's chance here. Joel needs to close the distance. Oh, nice head kick attempt. But Joel needs to close the distance and secure a takedown because Joel is a much better fight on the ground. Nice jab there from Francis. Francis is looking to wind up a big right hand, and again he's looking for it. Nice shots here from Francis. Joel needs to weather this storm now. Joel looks hurt. Bit 
choreographed, but he secures the takedown. Francis is absolutely shattered here from the look of this. Joel look, needs to look to pass and end up in side control or mount. Looks like Francis is looking for a guillotine here. I'm not sure. He hasn't got his hands clasped together. It's not locked in. Joel working ground and pound to the body. That's all that's allowed in B class. Awesome round. Francis looks absolutely shattered. Joel, in comparison, looks fresh, but he still looks tired himself. But Francis looks absolutely shattered. Looking over at Joel's corner, one of his cornermen, Steve Schofield, looking at me saying, fight of the night. And that's a bold, bold statement with some of the fights we've seen tonight. But definitely an exciting back and forwards fight. A lot of people in the crowd that aren't familiar with the ground game might find it a bit boring, especially with no head strikes on the ground. But these guys, they're back and forwards. Um, I think that Francis has secured a couple of takedowns, which could possibly have him up on the judge's scorecard. But I've currently got it one round apiece for myself. I think Joel won that last round. Francis winning the first. So I think it all goes down to this third and final round. Bit too much water on all over um, Francis' body for the referee's liking. But Francis looks absolutely exhausted. Joel needs to go in quick, look for this takedown. He doesn't really want to stand up. Oh, nice punch there from Joel. That landed, nice knee. He's dropped him. Joel looked like he dropped him again there with a knee. Nick, uh, Joel's corner shouting, uh, complaining about Francis holding Joel shorts, looking to survive. But what Joel needs to do now is either stand up, get him stood back up, or look for... He's looking for a mounted triangle there. This is some, another move that I know that Joel likes to look for. He needs to relax. Looking to secure this arm, this triangle, and he's got a manic triangle. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Not seen a mounted triangle ever, and obviously the crowd are going mental, and <laughs> Joel's corner are as well. Absolutely phenomenal fight. I think again, uh, like in the Wilmot Vitti Damien Shuttleworth fight, just Danny here, just to show that physique doesn't win your fights absolutely phenomenal though Francis shouldn't go away feeling bad about this fight at all he caught Joel with some big hard fights over to the cage for the announcement awesome performance and as I was saying, an awesome fight to go into this next break. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Francis Denny's got nothing to feel bad about. Joel just had better cardio. He didn't gas. Absolutely phenomenal, though.